Hello guys, my name is Ashton Dias and I am from Basic Marine Engineering. So, whoever is new to this channel, this channel is all about Basic Marine Engineering and today we are going to take a topic on Blackout. So many guys had asked me about Blackout, how does the Blackout take place, why does the main generator start, when, main, when there are three main generators, uh, is it possible there are three generators which can go into Blackout scenario. So I will talk about this topic today, uh, before I go into the topic, so whoever is trying to join marine engineering and whoever has applied for you know different institutions and I would like to inform you all that this time there are some changes first of all you'll need a passport with passport you will have to get a reference number from DG website so make sure those things are ready if you have not done those things and you have applied make sure you get it done so that when the uh, what do you call the process gets going and when your finalization takes place of your you know the joining of the finalization takes place all these things will be required so if you have some friends who are joining do advise them and try to join a company or a college which is giving a placement so coming back to the topic today the topic which I was I am planning to talk about or I am talking about is blackout so before we go in blackout I want you all to understand uh, the basic concept First of all, we have to understand there are three generators. Those three generators will supply power. Whichever is connected with the bus bar will supply power to main switchboard. Now, the main switchboard is connected with emergency switchboard through something called as tiebreaker. Now, this tiebreaker is the connecting, it's a bridge like in between. And whatever power required, whichever emergency uh, lights are there, then emergency machineries are there like your emergency steering gear, emergency suppose compressor you are having. So whatever power which is required by those part, uh, by those machineries and lights is supplied from emergency switchboard. Even though it has been supplied from main switchboard, it is going through emergency switchboard and then it is entering the, it is giving power to the emergency machineries and uh, lights. So then for emergency switchboard, we are having a parallel, we have a connection for emergency generator now what happens is whenever there is a blackout or wherever there is no power which is coming for emergency switchboard that time the ESB will give a signal to emergency switchboard to start similarly nowadays for MSB we have something called as PMS power management system so different different softwares are there, different different uh, companies are uh, doing the PMS thing so what happens is in PMS whenever there is some drop in uh, frequency or drop in power uh, or, or uh, more load requirement is there PMS will give signal for the standby generator to start now that signal will be received by the standby generator and it will come on load suppose there is something like low uh, frequency is dropping then it will give signal it will have some time to start it will start and it will come on load and that will prevent a blackout now what happens is in case of uh, sudden things like uh, suddenly your pressure drop took place or suddenly there was a fuel leakage and suddenly the fuel got cut off or sudden uh, low oil pressure drop in that case also what will happen is the PMS will send some uh, problem and that fuel will send a signal but by the time it is sent a signal and by the time the generator starts and comes on load till that time your blackout has taken place so what will happen this side the ESB which is the emergency switchboard will also send signal to the emergency generator and that fellow will also will start so what will happen is both of them will start but this fellow will come on load first the standby generator now the standby generator will come on load and it depends some ships you might have to go and personally uh, stop the emergency generator or sometimes it stops automatically so it depends it varies ship to ship and what happens is now suppose there are times when blackout can take place is Theoretically speaking, a blackout should take place when all three generators are not working. So, sometimes it might happen like um, you were running two generators and the third generator was not on uh, standby. So, that time also blackout can take place. Uh, it can happen if one generator is running two generators. My mistake, you forgot to put them on uh, standby. That time also blackout can take place. So, these are the things. Very rarely it can happen that all three generators have created some problem like main problem. Suppose main uh, fuel line only got ruptured and something happened or something like that in those cases only there is a possibility of blackout otherwise very rarely you will find that all three generators are not working 
so i hope you guys have understood uh, the blackout scenario because normally in theory you all understand that there are three generators and uh, how can three generators not function but there are times when uh, you know momentary back uh, momentarily a blackout can take place meaning for some time it will just go and it will come back because the standby generator took some time to start because that will also had got a late signal so in those cases blackout has taken place but it is just for some time so in that case is also the if the main engine was running the main engine will stop then you have to restart all the things or it, it is having a sequential start you will have to check everything and some machineries which are trip you will have to bring them back to normal so those things is there and then there is a blackout procedure also it will be placed in your ecr if required once in a while i will try to do a video on that also i will mention which which or i will put some um, i'll put a pic of that Uh, till i hope you guys have understood till my next video go through this uh, go through the other videos if you like something and uh, please do tell me and i appreciate when you guys comment and uh, you know appreciate the videos it's very nice to hear uh, especially when some people even tell me to make classroom videos i am i don't know how will i able to do those videos because it takes lot of time and uh, uh, efforts actually to do and classroom videos i will have to bring some of my Uh, I have to bring the class to uh, class to questions and discuss more with some other people. So let's see. I will go through it and I will think about it. Um, I will also require some help and I will try to find some help. Uh, till that, uh, hope you guys enjoy the other videos. Go through them. There are also some other channels. Go through them. There are very very good channels. You can learn lot of things nowadays. Only it's the matter whether you want to learn or not. If you want, you can find so many things good things. Do try to learn and work hard. Till next video. Best of luck. Take care.